So these are this wow. is a this is a University of Shady, and these are archaeologists. Um, in the background, sitting right next to me is Richard Loben. Um, um, is Richard Loben, and he's wearing a jalabia. And you see that you know when people talk about there are no black archaeologists. It's a lie. There are thousands of black archaeologists. There are thousands of black researchers. We're in the school of mathematicians. One thing we do know in ancient Nubia, there is an academic tradition from a long, 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 long time ago, over six, seven thousand years. And the type of Egypt in, in um, Nubia's history, six thousand years ago, they had universities. You don't have a university without building upon knowledge. You just don't snap the university. So uh, we're finding out a lot of this information. So the origins, the, the title of our presentation from here on In Search of the Green is the origin of, of religion. Okay? So um, the origin of religion. And it's because, um, not because I'm a woman <laughs> and I just want to prove that God was a woman, it's just the truth. And you know this whole thing has been turned topsy turvy. And I really think that our um, that our ancestors knew that you raised the respect of women, that your whole society level of your society would be raised. And so we get this this going on. This is a temple, um, Amun Temple, that's in Spain now. That has been moved to Spain. Moved to Spain. Moved to Spain. Um, it's, um, set, it's from uh, two B.C built by King Adikala Amani. Okay, all right, and then uh, we talk about Thebes, the representation of Thebes, Thebes meaning the boat. The, the symbol for Thebes is a crescent, it's shaped like a snake. You know, the snake has to do with the earth mother and the, and the, um, and the pyramid on top, representing um, the crest of a ship and all that kind of stuff, going back to Osiris, in the earth ship passing through the through the sky. So the heavenly ship um, feeds out the boat, it probably means the heavenly. You know, but there's no definitive evidence. I'm just um, assuming that um, since since uh, there is I have traced that that meaning. Um, the mace, well I said itself means mace. Mace which is a whipping stick um, for the kings and queens, but also mace is a symbol of a leader. So that means the head of, of the country as well. Amun, um, Nubia, Amen, Amen, Yemen, Amen, Ra, Amun, all of those are Amun. In the uh, ram's horns, um, it's a lot of symbols built on top. The ram's horns also symbolize the cobra, symbolize the snake, which goes back to the woman as well. Same thing here, Fatimac, sometimes represented as woman, man, Male, female, um, Amun, right there. Then we have um, the original Aset and Heru. We're finding out that Aset, Isis, was a was a human being that lived some place back in ancient. Right. She's she was, not a net. She was a uh, wasn't she Twa? She was. We think she was Twa. She was a village someplace south. Right. right. That's all we put right. out because they did not found um, all that. Right. For sure, right. that's what is assuming. She, she, they think that she was an Ali, actually. Okay. Um, so just showing the relationships, as you guys seen these things before, but just keeping, you know, keeping our focus that what we're doing here. I said, I said, Isis, we call her great lady, our great mother. Uh, I said, strongest in Nubian, I, I follow than any other god figure. And we find it out that the queens of Nubia. Um, really, really, really worshipped Isis, Aset, and took that strength and power um, in the worship of Aset. This is neat. And when I'm finding neat, um, I'm beginning to, I'm, I have an affinity for neat. And I'm beginning to find my affinity for neat is because neat looks just like me. I never even figured it out. Um, but this is, this one was the, was the Amun Temple. Um, um, this is the Amun temple um, that um, Jacqueline Onassis bought during the during the in 1962, and she bought the temple so African Americans in this country would know who they are. Wow! 
I mean, you know, I, I tried not to like that. You really can't not like that. Right. You, know? <laughs> you know, she said she bought the temple because she said African Americans need to know who they are. And, I, you know, you can't have nothing but respect for somebody who said things like that. Me, with the room on top of her head, leaving, uh, leaving life into creation. Also, we think me is, she's the first representation of God. The mm -hmm. oldest representation of God. Meet here, this is our, um, this is when the Europeans come and bronze it, but meet still, they have taken away her African features. The os on top of the head, meaning the crown, the authority, having traced back to the earth mother. Meet here with the womb, and the keys, well, we're finding out the people that only carry the aunts are the deceased. So meet at this point, it is not a living God because she has a key. Meat having a, the head of a lion, so meat can be ferocious as well as for wealth as well as for uh, prosperity. And the lion are the, is the seat of royal power, it symbolizes the seat of royal power. Meat being holding a bow because she's from Tasseti, all right, the land of the bow in ancient, in ancient Nubia. So Meet is, and you see she has a Nubian um, crown on top of her head here. The red crown is a Nubian uh, crown, the white crown with the top of it, which seems to me, I will talk about that too, is represents something too. This is the largest um, Parthenos from, from uh, this is Meet Athena, but this is in Tennessee, I believe it's Memphis, Tennessee, at the museum. And Athena is nothing but Meet. She has all the symbols of Meet, it just changed her a little bit. She even has the she even has the ears of a cow going back to half four. And this is the largest mm -hmm. representation. And the wheel that she holds really symbolizes the boat mm -hmm. coming from Thebes. Mm -hmm. Steering the boat. Wow. So me also knit is one of the most ancient deities known from each of her names stems from a word meaning finding the water of that which is. The first depictions of the goddess during the pre dynastic times was an emblem of two arrows crossed for a shield. So we're thinking that women were warriors of this ancient tribe. And in ancient Nubia, we're finding that women are buried with, with knives and weapons. So we know that women were out there in the battlefield just as much as the men were. The symbol of me, she is the oldest known of all gods. So she's the very oldest. We've not found any older anywhere in the world. She is the very oldest of all gods. And water is the symbol of me. So when in front of the Tekkens, when you get that pool of water, it symbolizes me. And we are finding that in Egypt, they didn't throw away anything. All the symbols are built on top of each other from the past. They didn't throw away. We're not we're a throwaway society like we are today. They built upon all the historical knowledge, and you can basically trace their origins and their belief system by their symbols and by their iconography. Okay? The true question is the oldest version of the mother god of creation. Is it all set? Who we know may have material that made her real queen from ancient Nubia? Is it me, who is known to represent the primordial war? The first time we read the words, I am as I am, as Neat describes herself according to Egyptian texts. So that Bible verse that we hear, I am that I am, comes from Neat. <laughs> Once again, okay, Tanit means land of meat. So um, that even goes all the way up to, to Europe. There's Tanit in Europe as well. So it's an Akan symbol, and we know, um, you know, traveling back to Ghana, they, when we went to a shrine house, they told us that those ancestors back there came from Egypt. Mm -hmm. So they're tracing their ancestry. Even the Tinka men and even the names in Ghana have come uh, from uh, ancient Egypt. Why did they leave? Pretty much because the Romans and the Greeks pushed them out, then the Serbs, then the people from Turkey, then the French, then the British. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've been inundated for 3,000 years with people trying to take their stuff, climb into the taking their stuff out, Arabs, I can't forget them. Um, the Arabs that have dismantled the pyramids in the hotel me and my husband stayed in, um, the, the, the stones were in the floor of the pyramid mm. that were stolen from the, 
from the pyramids where it was a, a smooth rose, a rose quartz, and we were right in the hotel. Made for water, knit, metal measure, actually again coming from the word meat.